Good morning. Today, I think we're going to discuss paint protection film for your Rivian R1T. Uh, in my travels, I've noticed that I've been getting a lot of bugs on the Rivian. And through, <laughs> throughout the week, I really don't have time to wash them off immediately. So uh, I thought I'd invest in some paint protection film. So through my research, I found out how expensive that truly is. But uh, I've also found some do-it-yourself paint protection film. Uh, so we'll review that and I'll give it an honest opinion. So come again and join us on the Electric Avenue. found throughout my travels uh, some paint protection film, some do-it-yourself paint protection film by a company called T-Wraps. So here's a quick disclaimer. Uh, I bought all the T-Wrap material myself. Uh, T-Wrap does not sponsor this video because I want to give you guys an honest opinion of the T-Wrap product. Uh, that includes the ease of installation, uh, the overall price for each section that I bought and um, the durability later on we'll do a good durability and my honest opinion of how do I think it's really worth spending your money on okay the two sections of paint protection film that I purchased from T-Wraps uh, was would be the headlight covers and the light bar cover uh, that goes on the front of the vehicle and the second section is uh, what would be the the lower half of the front bumper. Uh, in the future, I plan on um, buying the upper half of the front bumper and the hood. So <clears throat> the options that you have for the light bar, they make different tints, which I'll uh, show you a picture of. I'll slice in a picture of those tints during this time. And those tints have different, I guess, percentages like just like window tint uh, I, right now I think I'll stick with the clear so I'll, I'm using the clear on the on the light bar and the headlights okay when you order your PPF from T-Wraps um, these are the way that they're packaged and it's a pretty good package uh, they come in this box uh, like this and this is the the light bar uh, package uh, and when you see the light bar right here it comes in a roll and we'll unbox this one so that you can see how that roll is and on that roll I don't know if the camera is picking it up you can see the the film maybe you can see the glare from the window of the films that are there and we'll go through the process on how to put those on in a second so on the end of the box uh, there is a QR code that you can scan and it takes you to the installation video. Okay, and as you open up these boxes, inside there are some cards uh, that come with the, with the film. And it's actually pretty good packaging. I like this packaging. So there's the, the logo. He wraps in. You get a 10% purchase uh, scanning code for your next purchase for T wraps. Uh, so the next time I buy, I need to get 10% off here. Uh, and it also, again, uh, takes you on the installation video, another car with installation videos. Uh, it also shows you what to do before you start. Okay. So as like I said, we'll unwrap this box here. This is the lower half uh, below the light bar of the front part of the vehicle. Uh, so it's like a magnetic type opening, so I just stick my fingernail and score this and it's pretty easy to open, right? So this one, this is a different one. So you get a, um, a little wedge, um, I guess you call it a uh, squeegee, a little red, it's rubberized, so that's pretty cool. <coughs> 
again, you get those cards uh, in the box, uh, the 10% code. So now the next two purchases, if I make two more purchases from T-Rap, I'll have uh, the 10% codes. <laughs> and it comes rolled up. That's up. Oh, no, I don't need that bottle. And it comes with a little squeegee bottle inside here, um, but I don't really need that. I'll show you in a second what I use. Uh, so they've got these little tabs. You pull those off. All right. And when you unwrap that, it comes with a, a I guess a flyer that tells, tells you all of the parts or the, the products that they have for the R1T. And there's several of them. All right. And you unroll it, and there are several sections here. Um, looks like this is the front bumper section. Okay, leave that over there. This looks like uh, the charge door section. Okay, so they're pre-cut, which is which is good. You know, I don't want to have to cut these things. It's, I don't have a machine to do that. So here's the section that is around the charge door, okay? And I watched the video, I already knew what was on here. And this looks like uh, the other side of the, the section with the charge door on it and the section that goes around and under the charge door. I mean, excuse me, not the charge door, the opposite side of the charge door. <clears throat> so those are the, the items that you get for that portion of the T-Rap kit, which is all pre-cut for you and you don't have to do any cutting. So in the video, it says to uh, use a squeegee bottle. So what I've done, I have a, a bottle that I bought at Lowe's, which I've had for years actually. And uh, you put, I just put a little dish soap in it, a few drops of dish soap, add in my water, and I've got my squeegee bottle, plenty to do all of these sections that I need. <clears throat> And also the headlight section came with this squeegee uh, and it's rubberized at the at the end. It's not plastic, it's, it's rubberized, so that's pretty good. And this one came with the, uh, <coughs> the bottom part of the front, so that's rubberized also. All right, so the other items, uh, just a simple hair dryer I got from my wife. Uh, it, it gets pretty hot, so uh, in the video, it says use the hair dryer for those edges that kind of bubble up, and you use the hair dryer, and it it uh, makes the the film way more pliable, so it can uh, I guess fit the contour of any place that you're trying to put it. So come and join me. We'll uh, we'll kind of record uh, the installation process.
here's the finished product. One thing I can say is you can't tell it's there. Uh, I have PPF from here down on the entire front. So the entire front is covered except for the, the hood and the, uh, the front lid. So from the cover, even the fog light, the headlights, the front, uh, this portion here, and the fog lights. Obviously in the, in the whole, whole entire headlight and uh, light assembly. So I think it was a great job. So my honest opinion, it wasn't that hard to do. Uh, to do both the both of these sections took about an hour and a half uh, of constant <laughs> manipulating of the film. Uh, the film was very easy to work with. Uh, a couple of tips. Uh, once I did have the film, the wind blew and the film kind of rolled up on itself. So I learned to spray the film as you're pulling it off the backing. Uh, that way it won't roll up on itself. Film is very strong, so I'll give, I'll give it that. And um, would I recommend the film? Absolutely, absolutely. So the final cost, uh, don't quote me, I'll put it in the description below, I don't actually exactly remember. Uh, I believe for the headlight assembly was about 80 bucks, under $100. And uh, for the, the rest of it, outside the headlight assembly, uh, two two hundred and fifty ish dollars. Uh, so I'll put the exact costs in the description below. But regardless, uh, thank you for joining me again on another episode of the Electric Avenue. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.